Shalom, shalom, shalom. The Lord is good and His mercy is just forever. This is a short promo towards the video that will be coming soon titled The Rule of a Wife is to respect, submit, and care for her husband. And I'm choosing my words as a spiritual woman of Zion. I'm not saying the role of a woman. Because a woman will act as a woman. But when she is a wife, then she's in a more specific role. And it's to one particular person. And that role has to do with respect first, then submission, then care. It is in that order. And other roles come in as she becomes not just a wife, but a mother. So we are talking about the roles, you know, as we've done in the previous video. The role of the husband is not the same as the role of the man. So when I say I'm speaking like, you know, I show spiritually and specifically letting you know that there's a difference between a man and husband. There's also the difference between the woman and the wife. And there's a reason why in the book of Titus chapter 2 verse 4, the Holy Scripture says, let the older woman teach the younger woman to love. This is why I see so many young women even in today's timeline who don't know that they are in a timeline of great confusion, great deception, and they think in their zeal they are ready for marriage. They even think they can give their own parents advice. But one way to even identify that they are somewhat deluded is when they come and say, as we see, you know, even projected in the community, in the so-called, even some of the true life movies. Like I like to watch true life movies, not just any movie from anyone's imagination. Unless he has a Christian background to it. So you will see many of our girls saying, Mom, I love him. It's a twisted statement. Judging by the truth that reading through Ephesians chapter 5, from 22 to 33, the woman is told to respect and to submit to her own husband. In fact, Titus chapter 2 verse 4 suggests that the primary role of the husband, as we have seen in Ephesians 5, is to love the wife he's marrying. Not for the Younger to say, Mom, I love him. I want to marry him. Because as in Titus 2 4, we are supposed to now teach the young wife how to love her husband. So that the respect, the submission, and the care will be based on a foundation of love, not lust. Not uh, until you do me before I do you, until you give me money, before I respect you. So that's where I'm wondering, young girls, if you are watching, you say, I love him. That is the basis of you wanting to give yourself to a man. That's not love. You don't know what you are talking about. You are confusing your feelings with love. Because this love we are talking about is not the love of the world. The love that God expects the older woman to teach the younger woman how to love their husband is such love that if you find yourself as the spiritual Abigail woman married to a Nabal in 1 Samuel chapter 25, go and read it. You will not go and be mixing poison to kill him in the name of die by fire. You will get us by die by fire. You will be that virtuous woman of Proverbs 31, 10 to 31, that in all of these things, you will never pray even in your heart to die by fire for him. 
you will never also think of poisoning his food. Till today, if I still cook today, my husband will still eat and eat and even eat and eat and be happy. Because I know deep down within him, his heart fully trusts that I'm not harming. Even though he has done me much wrong. So you need to know how to love your husband. <laughs> because when that husband begins to behave like a man and not a husband, as he falls short and goes back to his original level before he became husband, he went down to be man and want to man and lord over you. Then that's when you know that the love of Titus 2 verse 4 is a love that will make you bear the persecution, bear the the part where he stopped being a husband to you and began to man himself. Maybe because he received such counsels from his own, you know, ignorant friends too. Man up! You can't be telling your wife all your secrets, all your plans. Ha! In this day and age, who will really talk the secret to? To you? That's the problem with some. They don't know who to talk. They talk to their wife and to their friends. They, don't, they just switch everything. Confusion in this generation. May the Lord deliver us. Watch out for the video that is coming. That has to do with the role of the wife. Is to respect. When respect is removed from a woman, she she has no problem submitting. That's why Bible says, you know, the woman should submit to her own husband. She has no, you know, problem submitting to others. Is what I mean. When she sees that the respect is removed between you, who is supposed to be her husband, she will go and look for somebody that she respects. And she wants to be doing because in doing like that, and yes, sir, father in the Lord, mother in the Lord, she's gaining some fulfillment. Don't think that some who come to the wrong people and they are saying to their Pharisee leader, they are fake ones who carry the title of the Messiah God of Geo. As they do like this, some of them are doing it because it makes them also think as if they are fooling you, they know that somehow within you. If they are doing to you what your wife is not doing to you, as they say, sir, hey, yes, sir, you know, they, they know that they are getting closer to your heart. So that the day they come and pounce you with, this is the problem I have. Before you empty your wallet for them, you will not know. Since you two, you have been gaining that. You feel big when somebody can say, yes, sir, in this, sir, down. You know, you think it's for free. Women submit to your own husband before God says, God knows that they are submitting to other people. They submit to their boss. They submit to their fake Joe, Joe that is not the real Joe. Because they are general oversee as the Holy Spirit who sees everything and can generally oversee properly. Not your own general oversee that when calamity strikes, they say, I don't know. I don't know you carry oversee title. And you oversee. You have to open down your spiritual eyes and oversee and know. What kind of title that God will not give you? We know the titles God gave to men, not even women. No. Men in Ephesians 4 11. So, any other title you go and carry, you are already doomed. You are a greedy person, and God will tell you, Get away from me. I never knew you. Since your own title has discouraged, has disqualified you. So now, talking about the role of the wife, the role of the wife is different from a woman. A woman can be a woman, a virtuous woman. She can be the proverb 14 woman who builds her home because she's a woman of Zion, not necessarily because she's married. So when the word of God says, the wise woman builds a home. A home can be a home wherein she's still living with her singular parent, father, or mother, or both. But she'll build that place, not scatter it. Even if there's conflict in the place she is, she'll build that place, she'll bring peace and all the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control will be more 
from the Holy Spirit through her life into that home. Galatians 5, 22-23, nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Not she playing games and knocking the head of the man against the other in whatever home she finds herself and thinking, what's my own? I'm about to go out to my own family. Ah. If you cannot build anywhere God puts you and make that place a more peaceful place, such that when you are living, I say, hey, this is really a virtuous woman living. Ah, I will miss her. Who miss her? Who miss her? Because we are talking about women now. So wherever you are, you should have that mindset. Even sometimes when I go shopping, it's just I don't want to be bending all the time. You see sometimes, once in a while, you see clothes on the floor that somebody dropped and didn't bother to pick. I say, I did somebody will buy this one. God knows I walk past this place. And because I'm so conscious of the presence of God, sometimes more than others, other times even, I have to still bend down and pick what I didn't drop. So I'm just trying to say, try to live somewhere you've been as a child of God better than where you met the place. Not taking advantage. There are some people that they just want to know that something is not going well between you and your husband. That's when they will come. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Pastor, I have a problem. I have a this. I have a that. Foolish ones. My own consolation is that God the most time knows how to judge. So some people have treated their eternal resting place for temporal pleasure of a mindset filled with demonic wisdom thinking they are smart as a wise virgin sees them and know their plot and lead them to their doom so today is about this promo that should be rounding up now so enough of you girls coming to say i love him it's a twisted delusion version the one that you should be saying that, ah, mom, I'm ready to submit to him. Mom, I so respect him. I so respect him. I so submit, I feel myself submitted to him more and more. I respect him every time I see him. I respect his choices, his life for Christ, his, 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 his love for God, his love for, for heaven. I respect, I respect is what we should be hearing. I respect, I respect, and I even am ready to so submit. I, I see myself submitting to him. Uh -huh. I care. I, I just long to be his wife, to care for him, to prepare his food, to make him special. Uh -huh. You are talking. Which one be, I love you, I love you, I love you. That's the one we should be teaching you. You already taught yourself. Because in the way you taught yourself is with the, is with the wisdom of this world. Ah, he has house. Ah, I love him. He has car. Ah, I love him more. He has a payroll of a six figure. Ah, I love him. I'm in love, mommy. Eh? And you too, you don't want to ask your daughter, like, are you okay? Have you told me whether you respect him? Do you have qualities in his life that you respect? Do you have qualities that you see yourself even submitting to? Ready to be, you know, a helpmate. You are not talking respect. You are not talking submission. You are not talking how you can care for him as a good cook. Wife, who can cook well. You know, to care because we are going to care now. Respect, submission, care. You won't talk about that. You are saying you love. You think about love. <laughs> this is not the area of love. Oh. God has let me know that the woman needs to be taught how to love because these men are like damn. We're in a body flesh timeline after Calvary. <laughs> the valley of shadow of death. Body flesh. That means the best part of when you even think, ah, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, is when they are operating their body. Body. They don't have all these people, but just body. So in their body, they can still be good, but they can't be godly. They can only have a form of godliness, but no power of God in them. Second Timothy 3.5 so when they are behaving like body, before they go to their body, flesh, body, flesh, and their flesh, is that like they are going downhill. Those are the ones that once they marry now, they treat the woman. You see the likes of the one that killed his wife. They treat her like she's trash. They just grow in hatred that comes through the flesh. Because there's no Holy Spirit in them. 
So that is why, you know, we need to now teach you how to love per adventure. Some of them are not the the original Eli group cost or they are not the original dam. Maybe they are just copying Eli or copying. So those ones is the reason why God says, older women, hey, teach the younger women how to love their husband. Because as they go from body to body, flesh and flesh, they will need all the help they need. So you, you are so exuberant or what's the English? Zealous. You are in love. You are in love. Inside love. That's where you dwell. Oh, we shall see. Go on, do the left. The love tells them. As in first Corinthians 13, 4 to 8. Do pardon me for that. I have to take a break. So, the love test of 1 Corinthians for First Corinthians 13, 4 to 8. When you put your name there and take the test. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not keep record of good, uh, of evil. Sorry, do pardon me. Love does not keep record of, you know, evil. You can keep record of good. Yes, you can talk about it. Yes, you can testify about good. We are about speaking good, testifying about good as long as what you are saying is true. So that you do the love test to see whether you are truly in love. Because when you do it, love does not envy. Then you put your name there. Where there's love, if you are truly loving, put your name there. Jane does not keep record of evil. Jane does not boast. Jane does not envy. Uh, Janet is patient. Janet is kind. Janet never fails. Put all, you know, where the love is. Put your name there and take the test and see the place where in your heart. Say, ah, I'm not sure about this part. And work on it until you are perfected. We all need to keep growing in love because this end time is really ending. And at the end, there will be so much betrayal. Friends betraying friends, all sort of evil going on. So we need all the love we can get from heaven and from one another. God bless you as you stay as you stay tuned to that video. Even already, do you know that video? Before I even decided to do this promo, I've tried to upload it three times. For some reason, it's just clashing the first one clash with the other one. Anyway, this is the third attempt as I'm doing this video is uploading the third one. So watch out. It might well be a sign that <laughs> that video is much needed. The battle to not let it upload has been won. It's not uploading. So give God the glory. So when your daughter comes to you, mom and me love, sit her down, calm her down. She's just, she's just been zealous she has a reason for thinking she's in love if this person was not having the things that the world offer will she still say she's in love what we should be expecting of our daughters is to declare that i see myself respecting him i see myself caring for him and his children i see myself you know submitting to him even when he doesn't have let us build our wonders to love their own husband by saying, what if, if, if he doesn't have all these things and it's just him as a person? Will you still love him? So, meet yourself to him in all righteousness, not as your God do. Don't be like Sapphira of Acts chapter 5, 1 to 10. I'm going to just round it up. This is almost 20 minutes so that you can enjoy the video you know when it's premiered soon after this god bless you for listening shalom